Yours truly, Princess Tia from Kingston, Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and you're watching Third Eye Vision Show with Anthony Parker. That's right, we're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? That's the situation on that. So, Anthony, as a blind person um, and as a black blind person, how have you um, dealt with any racial tensions? How do you feel about race as a blind person in America? Well, I'll answer the first question first. Uh, I, um, let me see. Ponder, ponder, ponder. I have never experienced uh, any racism per se. Um, and that's kind of weird, but I, like I said, I know it, it does exist. I mean, I, I went to LSU, which is a predominantly white school. Then I went to school for the visually impaired, which was a predominantly white school. And I was like the only black, well, only black at the time in, in high school. Um, I, I, at, at, at the point, as I, as I look back in high school, I kind of experienced it from the from the things that the teacher said, but um, I didn't really dwell on it too much. I just moved on because I, it, it may have been uh, do with, ha, may have had something to do with the fact the way my family raised me, just br brushed it off my shoulders. But there were some comments that were very racial that the teachers have made. Um, one in particular, <laughs> I had some tap. I used to wear some Stacey Adams, and I never forget this. I had some. Uh, tap uh, taps on my shoes and she was like well you know what you ought to go into tap dancing now whether she meant it as if whatever whatever but later on as I thought about it as I got older I mean she you know she was trying to you know because black people do tap dance they this not a third so she's been you know I, I figured the statement was racist but at, upon talking with her I, I didn't I didn't die, uh, uh, detect it at all just talking to her in general she was my English teacher but uh, if you ask me overall now I haven't really ex experienced it, even the LSU and experience but it does exist mm -hmm. So you have, so you have experience from people of the older generation, but not you're my generation so much. Yeah, yeah, it, not not just 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 racial undertones like that one that I just pointed out. Mm -hmm. just, you know that that per se, but that's not as far as well. You you're not you, you can't have this job because you're black or you blah blah blah. You're not gonna make it because you're black or whatever. It has never been any of that. But I'm not naive to the fact that it does not exist. Though. So so, how do you how do you feel other blind people are with race? And do you feel other blind people um ha well do you meet a lot of blind racists i guess i should ask or do you feel like it's not a big issue to blind people you know what and i'm I, i'm always been taught to be a realist and say what's on my mind i think that since i've started this youtube channel as i go forward move forward i've experienced a great i have experienced some people people who are who have some racial uh uh, and I may be presumptuous, some some type of racial undertones by the way that they come across me. Because with, with my YouTube channel, and I just leave it at that. Yes, I've, I've experienced a little bit. They 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 weren't overt with it, but you can tell, you can tell by by talking to people the vibe that you get that they they're not feeling you. Once once they find uh -huh. out that, that you are black, because uh -huh. you know yeah that you it's a whole like. As long as they, if you, you know, it's, it's cool as long as they probably don't, or Anthony, blah, blah, blah. But when they, when they talk, okay, it's a, it's a whole different thing. And that's what I've gotten. And I so, want to say, I want to say before I go for, for, for it, it has never, and I'm not saying it because we're doing this together, but really, it's not, has never been that with you, with you because I can just tell people who, who, who are more open to accepting things in the nature of question. You're going to clarify it too because the, the type of person that you're dating. But I can tell that you you were down for the cause. It was no no innuendos. You were straightforward. And believe me, that's how I like that. That's why I enjoy dealing with you and, and whatever we could do together. That's what, you know, that's what I wanted to do. But there are other people that are like, nah, I work with people. And they went behind my back and did some things and whatnot. But hey. So I have a question. I have a question, Anthony. So in in our world a lot of people a lot of blind people face a lot of difficulties because of people prejudging them because we, they look at us and they're like oh you're blind so they they judge that we can't do something but you and i also know that in our world 
Some people look at African Americans and prejudge them and decide they can't do things because of their color. Do you feel you face more prejudice because of your blindness or because of your race? Or does it? That's a damn good question. Um, oh, I, I, I'd say at this point in time, since I've been uh, desperately looking for employment, I think it's more so because of my blindness. And, 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 and I'm going to be honest with you, I have never I never felt that that people have said that I can't do anything because of my 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 uh, the color of my skin. But as I mentioned, I'm not I'm not naive to the fact that it does re exist. I just have not ever had that happen to me. Now I have cited counterparts that has have had that happen to me. But me personally, no, it's more so because I can't see. Okay. But I, I want to, before we move on, I want to ask you about your experience because you do you do date um, a black man, so. As my question would be, how are your experiences as far as that's concerned, both as a blind person and then both as dating someone who is black? Because I dated a white girl before. So give us an experience. My, so my, I've dated white, <laughs> I, I've, date, I've dated, <laughs> I've dated white guys and black guys. And there's definitely a difference between white and black, but there's uh -huh. a big difference between sighted and blind too. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so, so as we, go ahead. So my boyfriend is black, but he's also sighted. He's the, really the first sighted boyfriend I've had in quite a while. So it, it's to me, it, and I've dated black guys before, but I've never had a black guy live with me like this before. You know what I mean? And so it's really a great experience for me. So go go into, go into detail, girl. So what is it like? I mean, without, without, because you know, the old myth about uh, black people, and we ain't gonna, we're not going to touch on it, but what is it really like? You said you had, this is the first time you had a black person live with you. What is it like? Tell the people. Well, okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't say this is the first time I had a black friend with me. My friend EJ lived with me for quite a while, but he he's actually gay. So EJ and I were never sexually active. But but so but Dee's lived with me for several months now, and we have been sexually active, and it's a great relationship. Um, but everything, every part of our relationship is great. You know, the first time I met Dee, I noticed right away he was very affectionate and a gentleman, you know what I mean? And I really loved that about him because he was, he dote on me. He wanted to make sure that I was safe and I was comfortable and, and that I was happy. And, and he's been like that every moment of our relationship. And it's been so refreshing. I've never had a man dote on me to this degree. It's do you think, really frightening. Do you, 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 you've dated uh, uh, white men. Do you think that, that, uh, that there's a difference in, 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 in regards to the compassionate, the, the caring, as opposed to somebody who's black? Have you, have you compared to like, man, this, you know, this person, I've dated white people and blah, blah, blah. I've dated black uh, okay. person, blah, blah, blah. Well, well, I haven't dated a I haven't dated a lot, period, Anthony. Obviously, I've been blind for 30 years, so my dating experience is pretty limited compared to most people's in the general population. And, but um, I have found that I do prefer black men to white men, and I, I do prefer blind men to sighted men. My boyfriend is not blind, but <laughs> I told him one day, I said, I love you even though you're sighted. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, as as I'm, cause I'm not, I can't let you skate over there. Why, why, why do you prefer black men to white men? I just told you because they're I, they're more doting than white men. They're like D D really loves and appreciates me. Like from day one, he was like it, it kind of worried me because he told me that he really missed his mom and dad and that he felt um, better with me because he was so lonely. Like we met on November fifth right so it was just a few weeks before thanksgiving and then christmas and you know during the holidays people are with their loved ones and so of course he was going into the holidays and he was giving missing his parents a lot and so early on in our relationship i was worried that he was transferring that grief for his parents onto me and it would wind up being an unhealthy relationship so i've really kind of watched it over the months and it has changed from not, not he's not talking about missing his parents anymore. He's just so doting on me. And and I've I've had other black boyfriends before and they're they're the same way. They're very doting. And I just love that about black men. Um and and then also they're they're you know, it's just the way black men are. They're they they love strong and firm in all areas, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. And and I I was telling my boyfriend just last night that I really love the fact that I know he's here in, in to protect me and he's got my back and and he supports me in my endeavors in life. You know what I mean? That's real and true. I love that about him. And and like from day one, the blindness didn't even phase him. Honestly, I met him on uh, online dating and I had never tried online dating before. And the first night we met, I had never told him in the weeks and months we'd been chatting online, I hadn't told him I was blind. And so when when we met, I just showed up with my cane and I, I've always been that way though. A long time ago, I stopped warning people, oh, I should let you know I'm blind. You know what I mean? Because to me, if I throw it out there as an eyesore or something that sticks out, then they're going to look at it that way. And to me, it's not something that is a big eyesore anymore. It's just part of who I am. So that's a good point, Beck. Good yes. Point. And so that, so, and honestly, it was a real test of who he was too, because it showed me that night when I first met him that. He wasn't faced by the blindness. You know, he didn't he didn't step back and do a double take like, oh, wow, she's blind. What do I do now? You know what? He literally like he he wrapped his arms around me and embraced me. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So do you think I know we probably we, probably, we both probably can't answer that because I never date. I've only dated white, a white person and um, many blacks. Mm -hmm. Do you think that different races, uh, they, they uh, various races are more. Uh, accepting of a blind person as as a, as opposed to the other races like like you just say like blacks you felt that they're more compassionate um, do you think like whites or maybe um, Orientals or people of other races may have different um, uh, perspective so, on blindness? Anthony, I am very comfortable around African Americans and and Mexicans and stuff. And let me tell you why I feel why I think that is. Um, I think people. Other people who have things about them that are different from what is considered the norm, um, like blindness or a different skin color, or they're gay, or they have other dis another disability or something else about them that sticks out. People like that are understand what you people like you and I go through, you know. And so, and I realized that when I started dating black men, they really seem to understand my struggle for independence and my struggle to be seen for who I was instead of my blindness. You know That's what I real mean? Talk. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I, 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 I kind of know why. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so I, I really, anyways, I noticed that right away when I started dating black men and my, I, I have some black female friends as well. And they're the same way. You know what I mean? It's like when I'm with them, we're on the same page. They're not prejudging me because I'm blind and I'm not prejudging them because they're black. You know what I mean? We just love and accept each other where we're at. And, and I really love that. So honestly, I, I seek out people who are different from me. And it's not just, I don't just seek out black people, but whenever I'm out and about, when I'm meet if i want to meet somebody new i try to find the person who's most different from me to go meet you know what i mean that's real talk man for real because those are the people that will accept you where you're at and that you'll learn the most from anthony that's that's true and i'm all for learning different different ways different cultures different everything that was very that's that's deep yeah that's, that's why i like that's why i like you i mean i've always told you but but you straightforward and you just you you know you about your business and you and you you just you know you don't hold nothing back and and you I I I, I can feel the realness in you and I love that about people when but if I if I detect anything different then you know it's another story but I I, I really feel you and I'm glad to have that I've had this opportunity to come on your show and 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 conversate believe me because it's needed. I have one more thing to say about this, Anthony. You know I was in my early twenties. And I had a lot of people, I was stuck in Montana and I had a lot of people who were around me and they were trying to tell me what I should think and what I should do with my life, what I should think and feel about my world. And back then I saw that as a big problem. And so back then was when I started this campaign to try to find people who were different than me and, and try to find um, just new newness, you know what I mean? And I really feel like since I started that process, of, it's I was in my early 20s and I'm 43 now. So it was about 20 years ago. 
um, I really feel like the last 20 years is when I've done the most growing and learning. Because when you seek out people who are different from you, you'll, you'll always learn. But if you stay in one place and you only talk to the same people every day, you only watch the same things on TV and you only go to the same places, you never learn anything new. And after a while, your brain starts to turn to mush and you know, you just start to turn old and decay. That's true. And I know people around me who I look at them and they're, it's like they just decided to stop growing and learning and becoming better and more of a, you know, a bigger, stronger person. And they just decided to stop. They were going to stop and let their body start decaying and dying. And I just can't do that. And the more I, the more I do, the more I realize the more life there is in me and the more I want to live that life. You are preaching to the choir. Definitely. Thank you for joining me today on Becca's World. And thank you, Anthony, for joining us. Um, this was our interview with Anthony Parker. He is the host of Third Eye Vision. Please go and check out his YouTube channel and subscribe while you're there. Make sure to check out Becca's World. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell because we are all in this together. Again, check out Becca's World and um, Third Eye Vision and you will learn something. If you enjoyed our interview with Anthony Parker today, please be sure and let us know and we can do more interviews like this. And let us know if you would like to be interviewed. Thank you very much. Peace out. Thank you for watching Becca's World. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.